guys talking about the movie theater today. We are uh, once again on the 249 and we're over to uh, South Carolina. Yeah, a lot more people on board than last time. Last time there was literally no one on board. I would, I mean, this is the higher ridership section of the 249. Stopping for someone, or are we stopping for the car? And yes, I went from the, from the north side to the east side. One day, yeah. Just kidding, I didn't do it all in one trip, yeah. I did just go on the 47 earlier today, and now I'm filming on my hair east side route for 249. Yeah, this segment of the route is going to be replaced by the 270, which is going to go from the district to the Melbourne Transit Center. That would still be cool. Uh, that's what well, I'm filming the 249 because it's just, I'm not just cool, you know. Jeez. That bus stop is like no one nowhere. Uh, well, this is just a basic shot down Bellevue Way, and yeah, so I'm not going to film all of them, this is going to be cut like some of my new videos are, yeah, 44th Street. I learned some interesting stuff about the 249, like, like pre-2011, it didn't go into Mozart's Village like it has now, and luckily it's still going to go in there now even after Eastlink. Oh, person getting on. What happened to this bus stop? Who's trying? Anyway, uh, what were they saying? Oh yeah, um, the 249 also has been around for over 20 years. Yeah, I have a 1997 and a 1999 Metro system map, and um, the 249 is on both of them. So yeah, it has been around for a while, and the 222 is the one that used to go into Broad Shop. That one got deleted and replaced by the 228, 241, yeah. So yeah, cool facts. How did Bellevue function for that year when like, this bus was suspended? Like, this route is so popular. Ah, uh, North Rough Way. Got some really happy memories of this bus being on North Rough Way. I mean, is this North Rough Way? I think it's North Rough Way. Um, I will have to check. Any other guys, this is not Bellevue, this is Carmel. South Brooklyn to be specific. Yep, this is North Oakland. I was right. The South Brooklyn Park and Ride, um, I already filmed that. Yeah, good to be on North Brooklyn. I still stand by what I said in that BT short. This park and ride is super boring. There we go, we are back on North Brooklyn. And I am not gonna ride all the way to over Lake Transit Center because, um, yeah, it's like 50 minutes away. If I ever do uh, the overlay, um, I will do a park plot on the 249. I, there's still so much that I need to film on this route. This route is actually like probably one of the best routes for um, for um, transit fans to film on. Like uh, any transit fans who would want to see film on buses for watching this channel. Film on the 249, okay? It's like perfect for filming. You can get hours of content out of it. Why did that screen just go black? Oh, there we go. Going under 520. Yeah, also be warned, this bus is it's super infrequent. I think I said that in um, well, the last two recorded um, videos, like all the, yeah, like the that little tomato series of 249 videos that I had. Um, yeah, I think I mentioned that the 249 is incredibly And yeah, well, I do really like like the fences on this street. They're really nice. The street's nice. Alright guys, that's our stop. 130th. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that video.
I still love this route so much. Definitely ride it. Um, um, I forgot to mention one thing. The 249 is not going to be serving this part anymore. Like, this part's going to be not served anymore because there's going to be light rail stations back there. Uh, Spring District Station at 120th, and then over here, Bell Red Station uh, up there at 130th. Yeah, uh, I think I'm going to go look at Bell Red Station as well. But, um, and one last, uh, yeah, but one last thing I got to mention. Metro, I love this route. Thank you for keeping it. Yeah, see ya.